Mr. Chairman, the meeting is yours. All right, I will now call, call to order the Coventry Sewer Subcommittee meeting, March 18th, 2021, 6 p.m. I'll now call this meeting to order and take attendance. So Glenn Skirker, that's me, Chairman, I'm here. Uh, Tony Raposo. You're muted, Tony. Yeah. Okay, James LeBlanc. Here. Jennifer Ludwig. Here. Uh, Mike Sakosha, who is not present. Uh, before we start, um, I was so disappointed to have missed our last first full meeting. Um, I'd like to welcome James LeBlanc and Jed Ludwig back for the second time, but James for the first time. So welcome both of you, and uh, I'm glad you're on board. Um, We'll now move on to approval of the November 12th, 2020 meeting minutes, which we do not have enough people who are present at that meeting. Um, so I will make a motion to table that until the next meeting in April. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Uh, the next order of business is a sewer tie-in request for 57 to 89 Sandy Bottom Road, assesses plat 46, lot 38. So, uh, Ed, I believe this is the one that Mike had to recuse himself from? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mike's the property owner. So. Okay. All right, so I assume last weekend, everybody had the chance to review the uh, the plans and and the details associated with 57 through 89 and Pat, you're representing Mike. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, is there anyone else here? Bill, are you are you representing Mike at all in this? No, I'm for the next one. Okay. Thank you. Yep. So, is there anybody on the board who has any questions for Pat? or any concerns um, about the application for 57 through 89 Sandy Bottom? Jen, go ahead. So th I think this is the first time that I've seen um, a request here for this many tenants being reviewed. So I just wanted to better understand the process. So, um, and maybe it's more a question for Bruce, just when you're looking over all these, is it, is there anything special you have to do to, to see that each of these individual um, areas is properly, uh, you know, tying in, or is there anything special? Just as not that I'm suggesting there is, I'm, I'm just asking um, because I haven't seen this many tenants on one request before. Sure. So when Bob Rose reviews it, you know, he looks at each use, and certain tenants or certain uses require pretreatment. Uh, in this case, um, I believe, and Pat may correct me, the only tenant that required some type of pretreatment was the hair salon. That's correct. So they, they need to install special lint traps in their plumbing. And then um, I did notice recently I was, I was over there. Um, I don't know if it's the Genesis Church, that, that ministry center area. But it yep. seemed as though part of them are not in there anymore. Does that make a difference of who the, the tenant is? Does it have to be an active tenant to tie that area in? Or how does that work? Oh, so sure, if a new tenant comes into the building, they'll need to file new applications with West Warwick and Coventry. So the pretreatment process will get reviewed again. Um, I believe right now there are two vacant units in that building. And the church, I think, occupies two units, Pat? The church occupies the unit on the um, southerly corner and also one in the middle next to that Kelly uh, School of Irish Dance. Um, yep. The church itself is the one on the corner. Um, there are two vacant units, and as part of the application process, we do fill out a pretreatment application for the vacant unit just so they're taken into account. And it's more of a 
uh, record keeping. So if someone moves in, they would identify themselves as moving into, a, say it's number 87, one of the vacant units, and they would fill out the pre-treatment application. Um, typically on a project like this, um, each tenant typically is supposed to come out with a separate um, lateral out of their portion. And a waiver was granted to leave a few of the units interconnected just because of the type of use. Um, and I don't, I'm assuming you have Bob Rhodes's letter. Um, and um, I probably do. Yep. Um, it was part of the package. And yep. um, the conditions are that the review was only for the current tenants and a new tenant you know, has to fill out a new pre-treatment application. Um, and that new tenants shall have to separate and provide an independent building sewer and test location. So they, it, typically you have each unit comes out into a manhole. So usually two units will come into one manhole, um, but the waiver was granted for to leave a few of them interconnected. So you can see the, on, sorry, hold on. Get my plan back up here. So on the, um, the bead sting that takes into account, you know, there's actually several units, but the bead sting and the Sylvan Learning Center could stay interconnected into one. It's just because all of the internal plumbing is all in the slab. So sometimes it does create a problem. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if he had like a restaurant going in or um, one of those other ones, like the other, uh, uh, the other unit that had to be separated out was the East Side Clinical Lab. Mm -hmm. um, just in case uh, they only do, you know, uh, testing and they send the stuff out. So they're not doing anything, but it's more, that's one of the, you know, it's like a restaurant, a hair salon, dentist office. Those are all like special ones. So those would all have to come out separately, but like offices and like the church, um, you know, they're, they're very minimal flows, but if something new went into, um, you know, like say the bead sting divided out, then they would have to divide out their connections. So it just becomes more if they end up jackhammering the floor. That's really what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, Tony. Um, I don't know if Pat or Bruce can answer this. Uh, coming out of sewer manhole number two, there's a line going westerly toward the back end of the property. Why is that? You know, there, why actually, you're... that's there isn't one. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it ends at, at Manhole 2, it turns and goes left. I think that might be something else that was on the plan um, that came through. So, but it does, it just comes from Sewer Manhole 1 to 2, and then it goes to 3. There is okay. no line that goes out to the back. That's all. Sounds like you're picking on Pat. No, I'm not. I just uh, <laughs> I wanted to see a manhole at the back corner of the property. If they were Go to the river. <laughs> oh, I don't know what Mike's got plans over there. <laughs> well, that's why he's not here. Maybe he's discharging to the river. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't so. Hmm. All right. Any other uh, questions? Hearing none, uh, Bruce, you, I assume you have reviewed everything and, and you put your blessing on it as well as West Warwick? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if there are no other questions or comments, I will make a motion to approve 57 through 89 Sandy Bottom Road. I have a resolution that I will read. Uh, it is a resolution of the Coventry Sewer Subcommittee number 2021-05. Oh, I'm sorry, I got the wrong one. It is 2021-04. Whereas after examining the applications, designs, plans, and all of the submitted documentation, the Coventry Sewer Subcommittee recommends that the Town Council approve sewer tie-in application for 57 through 89 Sandy Bottom Road, assesses plot 46, lot 38, such that the applicant shall sufficiently comply with all the requirements necessary for the town sewer ordinance and the town engineer's reviews and comments. That was the motion made by me as bread. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Hearing none, the ayes have it. Will this go before, I'm assuming this won't go before the council next week, right? It wouldn't be till April? 
Ed, are you still listening? I believe it'll be April. Yeah. April 12th. Uh, April. I am listening. Yes. Uh, will this make it to the next council meeting in time? Or uh, the next council meeting is Monday, and the agenda is already uh, filed on this. Uh, so it'll be the, uh, I believe it's the 12th. 12th. I think that's the date on the next one. Yes. Okay. Thank you very is much. Have a good night. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. All right. The next order of business is the Oaks at East Shore subdivision. Tayoke Ave assesses plat 23, lots 47 and 47.1, and assesses plat 32, lot 152. Now, I think we need Mike to hear this one because Tony yeah. needs to recuse himself. Okay. Yeah, I think we have another quorum issue. Uh, I think so we do. Did um, did anybody try texting? I did text Mike when we okay. started. I haven't heard anything. Okay, I was gonna say I did see his email that said he would be available, so maybe he's caught up in something. Hmm. Motion to uh, table this agenda item. Motion made. I'll second that motion. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Hearing none, ayes have it. So can I can I just ask when this item might be on the, the next meeting? Uh, should be in the April meeting, which is somewhere around the middle of the month. I don't know the exact date. Let me look at the calendar for Which you, means it won't be on the council until May. Uh, Jamie, is there a, is there two meetings a month for the council? Yes. Yes, if not oh. more. So um, we can try to um, have a discussion with President Dixon and see if, uh, based off of a sewer subcommittee meeting, if we can put it on the next uh, agenda. Right. Possibly get a, a late meeting from the council in April, a late April. But um, if not, worst case would be first first one in may we we have well, several we have several other meetings that will be coming up off the normal council schedule so we could always get it in on one of those because of the budget process so right. we can get it in on one of those meetings as well yeah i i would appreciate that just due to the the continuances if we could try to get that on um but uh thank you sorry bill thank you yeah, Good sorry. Night. Thank you, Mr. Lavery. Sorry for the inconvenience. All right, moving on uh, to new business. Um, do we have any updates on West Warwick? Uh, I know, Jen, you haven't been going at all, right? No, so, um, and I mentioned this last week, um, I am not sure if I'm going to be able to continue making that meeting. Well, I'm um, sure you won't. I'm sure you got your hands full. <laughs> yes, yeah, so... Um, it, uh, if anyone else is interested, um, so West Warwick, they meet um, the first Thursday of the month. Uh, so I assume the next meeting will be April 1st and they usually meet from about three to four or three to 4.30. Right. Um, I just don't know if I can commit to that since I have all the other meetings no, on. I wouldn't now. expect you to. So just so you're all aware, this board is um, very short on people. I mean, it's a nine person board um, you know, seven people of the seven, two is typically councilmen and two alternates. So a total of nine. And you can see where we're at. Where we're at. And uh, I think it's going to be a continuous struggle for us to make a quorum and, um, and continue this. You know, it, it really depends on 100% participation at this point. So if you know anybody who is interested, um, just tell them the talk to Stephanie or uh, Ed and you know if anybody's got any interest I think it's just a quick application to fill out and you know maybe we can boost up the numbers on this on this board so we don't have this continuing issue. Um, so Chairman Skirka yes. so just just so you know we have been raising this in the town council forum um, and we've mentioned several times specifically this board um, and asked for um, volunteers. Um, and so it's, it's definitely something we have been attempting from, from our side, um, on the town council meetings, but, uh, 
I think we're going to have to, to your point, um, we're going to need to, to either look at the makeup of the committee, if we can't get enough participants to, to staff the meeting monthly, um, or even when we have a re repeat meeting a week later and we still can't get enough people, um, I think we need to, to figure out if this is you know, going to continue being a problem without anyone coming in. Right. So maybe um, uh, Councilman uh, LeBlanc and I can brainstorm some ideas to see you know, whether there's something we can do, whether it's at the council level, um, whether it's a possible um, ordinance change or something that we do that maybe makes the group smaller. Um, I, do, um, I do have two people that have reached out that may uh, decide to finally submit their um, application. Good. Oh, great. Okay, I perfect. Am, I, would, I have been working on it. I would rather see more people be involved than to reduce the required number. Mm -hmm. um, the smaller we make the board, um, you know, the, the less involved we are. So mm -hmm. I would prefer to have a, a full, full panel if possible, but you know, sewers aren't as exciting to everybody else as us. Okay. So, um, we will, we'll continue trying. Right. And Ed, um, so these West Warwick sewer subcommittee meetings, um, the monthly meetings, I, I know, you know, I tried for a, a period of time to attend these and the three o'clock time during the day is extremely difficult for all of us who work nine to five. So I don't know if there's anybody that you can think of, but the town really should have somebody there, you know, whether it's, it's Stephanie or somebody, but you know, it's not always critical information that comes out of those meetings, but you know, the one time that something critical does come out and we don't have anybody there to hear it, it's, uh, it's like a wasted meeting for us. I agree, uh, uh, Chairman Skirker. I will uh, look into that and uh, po the possibility of, uh, like I said, even, even Steph, having Steph go down and uh, attend these meetings if we can't right. get somebody from the board. Right. Okay. Um, is there any anybody on the board uh, who wishes to make a comment? Go ahead, Jen. So um, it's not on the agenda, I don't believe, so we don't have to discuss it, more of just an FYI um, that we're having a sewer uh, workshop on Saturday, March 27th. And I think we still have the time to be determined. It's either gonna be nine or 10 a.m., I believe. Um, and so uh, Mr. Wazika is gonna be um, hosting that. And Ed, I know you're online. I don't know if you've kind of finished up the time or we'll do that next week. I have not yet. And uh, Mr. Skirker, I'm inviting you to uh, also take part in that if uh, you're available. I'm looking at more than likely, I'm gonna to try to do probably 10, uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, we did the nine o'clock on the budget 101. And uh, I don't know if that was a little too early. So I'm looking at 10 o'clock on Saturday. Okay, is that a, another Zoom meeting? It, it will be a Zoom, sir. Okay, uh, yeah, come in. Thank you, like sir. All right, if there's no, uh, no other comments, I think we'll move on to adjournment. No comments? I'll make the motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Silence. Let's go. Good night, Thank everybody. everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.